Welcome Scorpio, I'm Brenda, Brenda Tarot, and I'm here again today to bring you your Angel Tarot and Oracle card reading for the week of April the 27th to May the 4th, 2020. Again, I truly want to thank you for your interest in my channel and for viewing, liking, sharing, and most of all, subscribing to these videos. Please be sure to click the bell button when you do subscribe and you'll get notified immediately when any of your favorite YouTube creators are out here and you must pick the option ALL and then you'll get notified. As you know, this is a collective general reading and that means that every single card here or the energy that it, energy that they emit will may not resonate with every single one of you. But keep track of your time and where you are and uh, because there's so many people out there in different uh, time zones, so this may come out at a different time for you during this period. <clears throat> All the information should you want clarity, accuracy and answers to any questions is posted below this video. So here we go. Starting off again, we are doing the Celtic cross spread. Uh, this is the all over energy here where you are now. This is crossing over energy on that, the energy below you, above you, coming in behind you in the past and coming towards you for the future. This is where you are right now. This is what's going on in your environment around you. This is These are your hopes and fears and the final outcome card. I will be working with the four Lennermen and of course, in conclusion, my focus card. So let's get going here right now. <clears throat> you've got one of the best cards in the deck. You've got the sun. It's not the star, but you do have the sun, Scorpio. And this is all about improvement. This is all about giving birth to your dreams. This is all about seeing the energy around you and the karma around you improving for the better. So I do see that, you know, uh, you're going to be able to see things come to fruition if you maintain your balance, align yourself up on your path and the direction and the passion that you have within you to go in a certain direction towards a certain uh, event, a certain, um, you know, uh, option, possibility, offer, whatever it is. Uh, it could be towards, uh, you know, a new future uh, with your job, your career, or even within your personal home life. I do see that this is going to bring you success. It's like you've been given a second chance to do something and it may be something brand new you've never done before. So maintain your equilibrium, my beautiful Scorpios. Maintain your positive attitude uh, and you will be able to see this come to fruition. You've got another card crossing over that and you've got the beautiful card of the chariot and you know some of you may be uh, contemplating having to travel, go on a trip uh, and you will be using uh, you know um, I see this as many different vehicles. However, I see this as the decisions and choices that you are making at this time and you are going to be able to accomplish a lot of things at this time. You're going to be getting noticed, okay? You're going to, getting, you're going to be getting recognition. Some of you, uh, you know, maybe uh, building up a clientele uh, within your business and you're going to see the success of that increase coming into you because of the work that you applied towards this and people around you are going to commend you for that. You need to pat yourself on the back. That's what I call this card, my Scorpio. So pat yourself on the back for a great accomplishment that you did that may have been challenging you and, and you've been able to accomplish it, whether it's been in your personal life, your relationship part of your life or in the financial part of your life. Coming in with the perspective card, this is the hangman. And the hangman is all about being in limbo, moderation, taking time, processing, thinking. Uh, and, you know, there's, and knowing that there, uh, by taking your time, uh, you're going to be able to make the changes, which a lot of you have already done, and some of you are still in the process of adapting to, uh, that there's a better a course of action, uh, a better way to move towards a situation, okay? I want you to, uh, you know, uh, dare to be different. Don't be afraid. I mean, you can get off this pole at any time and pursue what it is you want to go after. And that's the only way you're going to get it, Scorpio. We, you know, all I tell everybody this all the time, the only way we're going to get what we go, we want is to go after it. Okay. We need to get up and we need to, uh, you know, progressively pursue it. And, uh, and if you believe it, then you will receive it. So um, I do see that, you know, you can get off this pole at any time. I see that you are going to be able to do that with a crowning energy here with, with the sun, being able to see uh, light at the end of the tunnel, being able to see this uh, new chance and making things uh, happen in your favor. A great new part of your journey you're on here right now. 
coming in above you, you've got the justice card. You may have had to fight for something. You may have had to defend yourself. You may have had to explain yourself. Um, you know what? Maybe, um, you know, this was very emotional for some of you, of course, and you have to be logical and objective when we're dealing with things, you know. Um, has someone been unfair to you? Have they been judging you? Have you been doing that to them? So this is a card about you fighting for equality, being able to play and be fair. Uh, it's about fairness, okay? Leveling the field fairly, okay? Uh, and bringing to the table uh, of, of uh, understanding, uh, you know, a situation 100%. And don't give up, okay? Because I do see that if you, some of you have been fighting for something, and uh, you know, um, you know, when it has to do with justice, maybe it has to do with a legal issue for some of you. Know that your the rulings are going to be made in your favor. It's going to be okay. Stand your ground. Don't give up. Stay strong. Beautiful gift coming in behind you. This is this might have been in the past, and it was you know what? But I see that it came forward because the sun came out, crossing over in the middle, and I do see that you know you're going to be able to move forward in a brand new direction. This is a gift. When we get the Ace of Pentacles, it often refers to uh, you know um, you know new resources coming into you in the form of financial resources in the form of money. So I do see that you know you've worked hard towards something here, and you're going to see the final outcome is going to favor you okay things are going to work out maybe some of you have been dealing with legal issues and you've been fighting for money a settlement uh, some sort of disbursement coming into you and you're going to win it so be patient I do see that you know with a hangman that means that things aren't moving too quickly and there's there may be a change you might be changing something up here with a job okay you may be changing a position here or, or you know or even a brand new career you may be tweaking something uh, in the financial sector of your life and all of a sudden maybe you've got a second income coming in that you thought you never knew you had it could also be um, you know maybe you you've tapped into your insurance policy and you realize there's a dividend there that's been sitting there you didn't know about that you can tap into so I do see some unexpected resources coming in it's like it, it like your lucky day uh, you're able now to see light at the uh, you know the end of the tunnel you can go through uh, you know doors and portals are opening up for you and it's going to be almost like a promotion to you being able to have that that um, you know that freedom of not feeling so restricted especially when it comes to your finances now coming in towards you you've got the two of Raphael and of course this is the two of cups and this can refer to you know a romantic uh, a romantic uh, situation coming into you it can also refer to uh, kindred spirits uh, totally platonic it can also refer to uh, you uh, coupling in with someone else as a partnership okay so it can also you know refer to marriage all right or marriage of the minds okay or you know energy of merging and blending to turn lead into gold together with someone so two minds, two kindred spirits, two people that uh, are on the same wave, wavelength and are able to help each other grow and expand on this part of your journey, on your pathway here. So it's all about establish, establishing a bond with another individual, okay? Um, it can, you know, it can also mean reconciliation and forgiveness. Someone may be coming in. There may have been, you know, some miscommunication and uh, was left, things were left unsaid. So now you're going to be able to find forgiveness and this is, this will be the solution to that problem okay and, and it could be reconciliation again but it also refers to you know um, you know uh, feeling attracted to someone else okay someone coming in and letting you know that beautiful okay coming in where you are right now you have been given and I'm using my beautiful spirit animal deck you have been given turn knowledge into wisdom and it's the wolf spirit and I want to let you know that uh, I have three um, three beautiful um uh, be beautiful uh, totem animals in my life and I'm you know a lot of you know that I am Cree Plains native and my wolf is white and wolves are very strong very bright they carry this in tremendous wisdom and they they trust their own instincts they, they live by it and this is what this is basically telling you okay you're truly in alignment with your destiny and you're, you're always learning something okay and the wolf is very very knowledgeable and it's all about you realizing that you need to continue a process of learning here, Scorpio, whether it's personal lessons in your life or whether it has to do with business, uh, the business sector of your life. But the wolf spirit is a strong, powerful spirit. And it means that, you know, you can tap into what you've learned and and fall back on that as that as a, a tremendous resource. But in the meantime, 
while you're learning, you're tapping into your instinctive talents, your instinctive innate gifts that you've been given from the divine. And you've got both of those dualities there to help you move forward, to make your accomplishments come to you. The environment, healing. Some of you are healers. Some of you are energy healers. Some of you are tapping in to be able to lay your hands on other people as you call in your team uh, to assist you to do this. So, you know, a situation that has caused you concern, you know, is on the mend. And I talked about a situation here with forgiveness and with perhaps a re uh, you know, the resurgence or reconciliation of, uh, you know, energy around a person that you care for. And, you know, you need to realize that so many of you are actual natural healers and your healing thoughts have manifested into forms. So sometimes a situation cannot heal until you release the challenge completely so that healing light can enter it. Your worries will soon be over because this card signifies that a healing has actually occurred. So to realize this healing, however, you must first stop focusing on what is wrong. Think about the positive aspect of this and instead affirm that everything is divine and in perfect order right now. So that's what I'm saying. Maintain your positive attitude. So, and again, you have a natural healing ability and it, you know, <clears throat> this card asks you to have faith that the divine works through you as an earth healing angel. Hold thoughts of love around any situation that seems to need healing. Visualize the situation as healed right now. Then give thanks to the divine for this healing and completely release everything to the angels. The powerful effects of your healing work touches many lives. And you know, there's a lot of you Scorpios out there that are either, uh, you know, Reiki masters, Reiki healers, uh, energy healers of some sort. You've tapped into the divine. You're very spiritual. And this is telling you that you have this ability or some of you may be just tapping into it and realizing that. Lean into that beautiful, beautiful modality. So many people need this at this time and you're going to be there for them. How wonderful is that? Now, what are your, what are your, uh, your fears and, you know, your hopes, your hopes and fears? Well, you've got surrender, rest to sleep. Okay, so prevent, to prevent burnout, slow down, honor your need for quiet time and peaceful sleep to rejuvenate your mind and spirit. So, you know, I, I saw this as you guys hanging in limbo here, not moving too quickly. However, you've got this new beginning here, you're pushing forward. Uh, you may, uh, you may have been struggling with uh, a situation with someone else here dealing with justice and you could be, some of you, exhausted uh, mentally and that that can affect you physically. So especially in our times right now, it's important to keep and maintain your equilibrium, your balance, your alignment, and of course, your beautiful health as well. So um, make sure that you're doing everything that you need to do right now. And that includes sleep. So get your rest. Who cares if it's two o'clock in the afternoon? You're home anyway. Lay down. Your body tells you signs what you need to do. So get the rest that you need. So many people right now, their minds aren't shutting down at night and they're out up. And they're, you know, I mean, I get on social media because I'm an, I do this all the time. I go to bed early and get my six hours sleep. So then I'm up like two or three in the morning. Um, so, you know, but that's normal for me. And I get on social media and there's so many people out here, uh, they're upset because they can't sleep. So it is stress and you need to step up and you need to do what you need to do to make your room, your surrounding roundings, uh, your beautiful environment healthy for you to go to sleep. Okay. We talked about healing here. All right. And it could be you. Now, your final outcome is in the near future. So if you've had a question about something that you needed a definite answer to, something is coming towards you. It's, it's divine timing. Okay. It's not our ego timing that we make. We always want things yesterday and when it doesn't work that way, it will come to you if it's meant to be, and it will be in the near future, according to this answers from the angels card. So step up, enjoy your, enjoy what you're doing right now. Lean into your positivity, get your rest, continue with your beautiful healing modality and that means using it on yourself as well. Tap into your innate abilities of intuition and the wisdom you're being taught like I said with the wolf card. So beautiful. Now let's see what we have here with our first Lennerman. You've been given the book and this can represent you learning, taking a course, uh, doing things by the book, reading or writing a book. Okay but I do see that things are going to be done properly, correctly, accurately. It could have to 
have to do with this justice card and you're going to be receiving money this is big money this is big business this is being able to have the freedom to go where you want to go barriers swim in the direction you want to go and not have to worry so much about finances comes above the Pentacles gift it comes beside the justice it's going to work in your favor you're going to feel more secure uh, you're going to be able to put your anchor down and feel that you're in a place now that you don't have to worry about okay your needs are going to be met you're not going to be put out on the street uh, and at any time you decide you want to relocate you're able to do that and that is getting off here getting off the pole and making the uh, making the move to go somewhere uh, to that you want to be but this is definite security you know beautiful you've been given the sarcophagus and the sarcophagus to me is a death card in the traditional tarot and that is that is the end of one phase and the beginning of a new one you're finished you're completed you've done something that happened in the past let it go with forgiveness let it go with you know uh, with compassion and know that you're moving in a better brighter new direction so you've made those moves I've said that but the aid also has to do with sorting out your finances and reaching your goals for the this next part of your journey and being ambitious and you know you're driving yourself towards a goal that you want think of the eight of Pentacles okay you've got a Pentacles here think of the eight of Pentacles and the eight of Pentacles is you doing what you love and working towards that goal so you're going in a brand new direction my beautiful Scorpios now what is it you need to surrender to and here and to focus on you're you know you're surrendering to realize that you need to take care of your health you need to get your rest uh, you need to do that so let's see what we need to focus on as well okay spirit please give me that card okay so you know I always tell you that the card that is actually touching the desk is the one I always take so what did you get celebrate happiness so you're going to have reason to do this okay I do see that you're going to see your finances improve here okay you're going to be able to take a breath of fresh air this is a brand new beginning and justice is going to be served in your favor this is absolutely excellent um, this reading is very positive uh, you know you may have had problems here you know with somebody in the past but I see it clearing up you've moved on you've done the work uh, and so celebrate it okay enjoy this ride uh, know that as long as you keep focused on your, the direction you want to go and the outcome that you want and you manifest that you will have reason to celebrate happiness like I said we have to make the effort to push this forward okay and that's the only way anything happens we can't sit there and expect it's going to magically land in our lap and you know just because we've meditated and manifested on it we have to uh, ask for the questions from the divine and throw uh, surrender what we can't do out into the universe and then move forward so this is great I do see you're doing all the work you're going to have security you may have reconciliation here or you may be partnering up with somebody who is a kindred spirit who is going to assist you and does it thinks and does things the same way you do to help promote expand and you grow on your path uh, something's going to happen soon in the near future take care of your health so this is your reading my beautiful Scorpios for the week of April the 27th as I said to May the 4th and again, I wish you a beautiful remainder to today and a wonderful positive week here to look forward to. Anything can happen with the energy here. As long as you take care of your health, you get your rest. Uh, don't get impatient here. Keep working towards your goals. And um, you know what? You're going to maintain your wisdom because some of you may be actually looking into taking a new course here. And never forget how far you've come everything you have gotten through all the times you have pushed on even when you felt you couldn't all the mornings you got out of bed no matter how hard it was all the times you wanted to give up but you got through another day never forget how much strength you have learned throughout all of these challenges okay and develop and remember the universe and the divine your higher power wants you to succeed and find your happiness and peace so surrender to it and move forward towards your goals and happiness blessings my beautiful Scorpios and know that I always and only stand in this circle of love and light for you my prayers and blessings are with you for continued good health please play safe be safe see you soon